me Rebecca, your internet bestie for all things personal development, intentional living and dream chasing. And as requested after last week's 12 week summer glow up guide, I'm sharing my at home facial routine that I use on a weekly basis because I am bougie on a budget. I want to get my facial in. I want my skin to look its best, but I don't want to go and spend like 70 pounds on a facial every week. I mean, I want to, I would, I would like to, I just, cannot. Financially, that's just not gonna work for me. So I figured out a much more budget-friendly alternative that we can do from the comfort of our own home in our sweatpants and our fluffy socks. Exhibit A. Right now, I'm having a particularly bad moment with my skin. Probably not the best time to be telling you that this skincare routine works when my skin looks appalling. This is a tretinoin purge. This is cheese. I know every time I eat cheese, I am going to get cystic acne. And it doesn't stop me. Anyway, all of that to say that my skin is screaming out for a little bit of TLC right now. So today seems like the perfect time to get on top of it and give myself a facial. First things first, we need to get our faces nice and clean with some cleansing. Usually when I'm doing a facial, I have makeup on when I start, which is why I like to double cleanse, because it makes sure that it gets rid of absolutely everything. So I use the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Makeup Cleansing Butter as my oil-based cleanser. This is great for breaking down makeup, especially waterproof eye makeup, as well as things like sun cream. We're essentially stripping back the outer layer of gunk that we have on our skin. Now the double part of the double cleanse, we're gonna go in with our second water-based cleanser. I just started using this Bioma Milky Moisture Cleanser and I love it. I take three pumps and this is just gonna to help to break down any remaining dirt or sebum that's on the skin. By going in with the oil-based cleanser first and then going in with the water-based cleanser, we are just making sure that we are getting rid of absolutely all the gunk on our skin. That Bioma cleanser is so light and it leaves my skin feeling silky soft. My favorite part of the at-home facial is the steamer. Something about it is just so relaxing. And because of the type of steamer I've got, I can watch Netflix while I steam. Back in the day, I used to have one of those like bucket steamers that you'd have to put your face in and close your eyes. This is much more convenient because I can just set it down on my dressing table. I got the steamer going on one side and I've got law and order going on the other. With this kind of steamer as well, you can really control control the intensity of the steam. If you want a little bit more heat and you can take it, you can just move closer. But if it's too intense for you, you can move further away, which is not something you really have with those steamers you have to put your face into. This was an absolute bargain on Amazon. It is one of my favorite Amazon finds of all time. I will link everything down below, but this, if you wanna start doing at-home facials, would be my first recommendation. We just fill up the little water tank. I like to put in a few drops of tea tree oil. Then we press the on button and we are good to go. Next is the really gross, but really satisfying part. Because now that our pores are open from all of the steaming, we're gonna use one of these ultrasonic face exfoliating spatulas. I think that's what they call them on Amazon. This pushes all of the gunk that is lurking under your skin up to the surface. So if you have any little whiteheads, any little blackheads, any kind of gunk lurking in your pores, this is gonna get rid of it. It sounds scary, it's not. Now the exact brand that I have isn't available on Amazon anymore because I've had mine forever, but I will link a really similar one for you. much gunk just came out of my face. That's gross. I'm not even gonna lie, like I'm equal parts disgusted and delighted. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of dermaplaning. And if you aren't familiar with dermaplaning, it's essentially when you take a razor and you shave all of the peach fuzz and dead skin cells off your face to help make your skin smoother and clearer. Makeup goes on like an absolute dream after you've done dermaplaning. Some people who have sensitive skin can't tolerate it, it just it makes them break out. I haven't had that problem and I've also had a lot of people ask me if hair has grown back thicker or coarser since I've been doing this and absolutely not. I do only do this once a month, not every single week because you are taking off dead skin cells. I don't wanna over exfoliate my face. I use these little razors that I got in a multi-pack from Amazon because the price was good 
and they're made of biodegradable wheat straw instead of single-use plastic. Now with all of these active breakouts on my face right now that are looking really freaking angry. Don't they look angry? I'm sorry about the red list that I get. Anyway, dermaplaning over active breakouts, absolutely not recommended. So I'm just going to show you on one little section of my face, kind of the motion you should use. I'm not going to do a full dermaplaning session on my face because I don't want to spread any more of what I got going on. So you want to have the blade pointing at a 45 degree angle down and then you just want to take small little motions like this and you're essentially just like scraping off all of the peach fuzz, all of the dead skin and if you're doing it for the first time or if you haven't done it in a while you will see a whole bunch of gunk coming off there. I'm gonna put the blade down and I'm gonna stop because I can feel myself wanting to just keep going because it is quite addictive. Once you see all that peach fuzz coming off, you're like, ooh, you know, so satisfying. But I can't do it with my skin looking this way. So I'm gonna put the blades away. Now it's time for a face mask. I'm using the Superdrugs Purifying Superfruits face mask that you guys might recognize from my Project Pan videos. I don't necessarily recommend this one. I mean, it's fine, but it's not anything special. And I'm gonna put on my aloe vera under eye patches. I am obsessed with these. They are so soothing. You know, when your eyes are just feeling tired, you're feeling a little bit run down, feeling kind of sleepy. I pop some of these on. Sometimes I do it just during my lunch break. If I need a little bit of a pick me up, I just pop these on and they feel so good. Very cooling, very refreshing. And I don't even keep mine in the fridge or anything. I never know for sure which way around they're supposed to go. But this is what we're working with. Whenever I put my under eye patches on, I feel like Kyle Richards from Real Housewives, except she probably doesn't get the budget-friendly version from Amazon like I do. Now we set a timer. Alexa, set a 20-minute timer. And then we watch more Netflix. Alexa, stop time to wash this off. Now usually I like to finish up a facial by absolutely slathering my face in face oil because it helps to make me feel rehydrated after the face mask which can dry me out a little bit but my face oil is finished, the brand I was using has been discontinued and I don't have one to use today. After the success of using that Bioma cleanser, I am going to go tomorrow and I'm going to pick up one of their face oils and see if I like that. I will let you know, I'll keep you updated. But for now, since I don't have a face oil to use, I'm just going to put on a regular day cream just to get a little bit of hydration back into my skin. Again, I've put on quite a lot of that, more than I usually would just on the day to day. But over the next like half hour to an hour, my skin is just going to soak all of that up. Maybe it's just in my head but I think my skin is looking a little bit brighter already. Anyway, that is my at-home facial routine. It's not too time intensive. It takes from start to finish around 40 to 45 minutes and it's pretty budget friendly. Much cheaper than going to the salon to get a facial done. Please remember that I love you so much. You are enough just as you are and I will see you next time. Bye guys!